Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Diet Doctor YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Brett Schur, the medical director at dietdoctor.com. Now, you may or may not know, but on, at our website at dietdoctor.com, we have a news section because we think anytime there's a new study that comes out, whether it's about low carb or keto or diabetes or health in general, that we think is an important enough study to tell you about, we write a post about it because we want you to have the most up-to-date, trustworthy information that you can have to help make informed decisions about your health and your life. Now, we also know that some of you prefer YouTube. You prefer short videos rather than reading articles. So that's why I'd like to start, you know, every time we have an article or a news post, I'd like to start reporting that to you here on YouTube to keep you up to date as well. You can always go to our website at dietdoctor.com to read the full article, and you should certainly subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can just go click the subscribe button down below to make sure you don't miss any of these updates. And uh, it's so important because one of these recent posts we had um, in early November was about this study. It was published in, I'm going to bring it up here, the European Journal of Nutrition. And the headlines was lower carbohydrate and higher fat diets increase risk of diabetes and raise hemoglobin A1C. Now, this is exactly the opposite of the findings we have from randomized controlled trials, from non-randomized trials from Verta Health, from meta-analysis of randomized trials. We have so much evidence showing that a low-carb or a ketogenic diet actually improves diabetes and lowers A1C. So, so how can this study then come out and say the opposite? Well, this was an observational trial and they started their low carb diet at 48% of their calories from carbohydrates, 48%. And then they said for every little bit that you lowered it from there, the increase, um, the, the A1C increased but they didn't lower it. They didn't look at near enough lowering of what we would really consider low carb, whether we consider it 100 grams per day, 50 grams per day, or a 20 gram per day ketogenic diet. They didn't get near those levels. So for them to say a low carb, high fat diet increases your risk of A1C, what they really found was the mixed high carb, high fat diet can lead to an increased A1C, but it's all how it's phrased. So that created a lot of confusion, and that's why we said we have to write something about this right away to try and clear up the confusion to let people know it wasn't a true low-carb diet. So that's a perfect example of, of why I want to get on this YouTube channel and report some of these findings to you. So there'll be more to come as we have more articles, but remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you won't miss any of them, and go to dietdoctor.com to read the full reports. Have a great day. I'll see you again on YouTube.